Hi, welcome back to Smithy's Over 100 Golf Course Season of Year and today it's Monday the 2nd of October 2023 I've been travelling around the southwest, west in Cornwall for the last week starting to make my way home now so last night I was staying in Minehead and this morning I've come along to course number 156 this is Minehead and West Somerset Golf Club let's go and see what it's got Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 156 of 2023. It's Minehead and West Somerset Golf Club. On the tee, the man who won the Butlins Filey staff table tennis competition in 1979, meaning he got to travel to Butlins Minehead for the final. So back here again from Kirkintilloch in Scotland, Smithy. I'm looking down the first tee at Minehead and West Somerset. That's a short one at 235 yards, par 4. Uh, some courses would have this as a par 3. I'm just looking across the road from the first tee, and that is Butlin's Minehead over there. Oh god, the old Charlie's takes me back. Just taking a look at the first green, the bunker on the right hand side. On to the second hole, 361 yards. Uh, or a wee bit of rough to reach the fairway. Slight dog leg to the right, more a fade. Well, this is from the fairway at the second. Little ridge in the middle of the fairway. Big green. The third hole, 370 yards, back down towards the town in the clubhouse. And down towards the third green. Unfortunately, I'm playing back the second fairway. So I'm away to the right. First of the par threes at Minehead in West Somerset. Uh, it's the fourth hole, 161 yards par three. Uh, there's a whole load of rough to cross over there. Doesn't look very nice before the flag. Don't want to be in there. When I said it wasn't very nice before the flag, I didn't realise it's actually out of bounds. Couldn't see the water there, otherwise uh, use the stunt golf ball can. This is the green at the fourth. And just behind it's a... Uh, Butlin's Minehead, so let's have a wee laugh. Hi de hi! Ah, and this is the fifth at Minehead in West Somerset, par 5, 459 yards. Straight down there, up on the fairway at the fifth. Uh, having played two now, so it's a long way. We're not in near the trees, so limited in what I could play from there. I'm making a habit of getting into trees these days. And the green at the fifth. It slightly rolls down a wee bit. You got fairway bunkers either side. I'm just short in three now. So chip over the bunker. Uh, hole number six, 301 yards. Can't see the fairway yet. Be a bit of rough to carry. And a decent hit with lots of roll. Leaves this view into the green at six. And a lovely approach in at six. That's the Smithy ball there. And it's positively jiving on the dance floor. Oh, we're about five feet away for the birdie. Ah, that was a shame, just missed it to the right. Easy par. Ah, and here we come to hole number seven, another par five, 475 yards. Well, that was a nice tee shot. Missing the water on the right hand side, get out to the left, back into the right. That's the view up to the seventh, par five. It's the green at a par five, seventh. I'll put my ball out to the right. A lot of reeds in there. Hopefully it'll be okay. On the 8th hole, Minehead West Somerset. Uh, it's a par 4, 363 yards. It's going to dog leg to the right. Uh, this depends how much a chance you want to take. Dig so right over the fence and the coos there. I'll go out to the left. I'm just watching the girl round up the coos over there. Reluctant to move as they normally are. Oh, and there's the 8th green away down there. I've subconsciously taken the scaredy cat route and gone way out left. Avoided going right across the field. End of the first half. The ninth hole. Oh, I'll come stroke index 1. 396 yards, par 4. A slight dog leg to the right. Stream ahead there and then it bends back again further up. So we've got to cross it twice. Avoid the out of bounds on the right hand side and the there's the coos there, and there's the farmer still rounding them up. A view from the fairway up to the ninth green, uh, 396 yards, it's a tough one for me to reach into. 
you can see the red flags for where the ditch comes back across again or the stream comes back across. I reached the halfway stage at Minehead in West Somerset. What's the score? Smithy against the golf course. Tight match. But Smithy leads by one shot, i.e. one under my handicap. And on the 10th, par 3, 130 yards. There's only one par 3 in the front nine. We've got three of them in the back nine. Shortest par 3, but plenty of bunker traps about. On the 11th hole at Minehead in West Somerset, par 5 at 471 yards. And as you can see now, we're coming back down the seaside side of the coast. Look out to the Bristol Channel, and Wales will be over there somewhere. You can't see it today, but misty. And this is the green at the 11th. Oh, I'm just short in three. I've left myself there's a wee ridge there, so I've left myself a little Nicholson special over the ridge. And the 12th at Minehead in West Somerset, 373 yards, par four. Diagonally onto the fairway from elevated T up next to the beach. And I'm just watching the, the boat dumping the rocks onto the beach. There we go. Interesting. On the fairway at 12th, oh, I got it wrong, it's 408 yards, not 373. I was looking at the wrong marker on the tee box. That's a long way. Uh, 13th hole, 344 yards down the middle. Actually, cross over the previous green, the 12th. From the middle of the fairway down to the 13th green, uh, some bunkers around there. 14th, Somerset, and it's a dinky little par 3, 118 yards. Looks a very small green. Bunker on the left, and rough all the way down there. Might not be long, but it looks tricky. Fourteen, it's six feet away, so I've left myself a downhill putt up. On the birdie, on the dance floor. Well, I missed the birdie again, this time at the left of the hole. My putt has been pretty decent today. Nothing spectacular, but no mistakes. Anyway, hole number 15, 308 yards, par four. Little ridge running across. Last one heading back towards the, the sea before we start heading back into the clubhouse for the last three holes. On the 15th green, uh, bunkers just sitting in front there. Well, it's turning into a wee bit gloomy today. Hopefully the, the rain holds off, uh, the clouds are gathering a wee bit. Up at the green, at uh, the 15th. And I've shot past in two. Well, I'm still on the green, but I've got a nasty downhill putt. I'm not sure how far it is. I'm in the second level, the uh, second tier. Still a birdie chance though, outside one. Well, two feet away from that birdie, but that means two pars in a row. So a third consecutive par here and the singing's going to start. See what happens. Anyway, this is the 16th. The last three holes are all heading back towards the town. The Minehead and the clubhouse. Par 5, par 4, par 3. So this one's a par 5, 16th at 499 yards. I've got another view of the Bristol Channel from the tee box and we can just pick out the whales over there that's Port Call and further to the right, Barry Island and a way back up the, the Bristol Channel oh, that's a look back down the middle part of the course on the fairway at 16, a oh, distant look away down to the green Two shots now, third shot coming in, reachable. Well, a nice third shot into the par 5, 16th hole. Oh, and we've got about 12 feet there for the birdie. But even more important, this could be three consecutive pars, two putts from there. You know it's coming if it is. Since I'm doing a shot be shot, this is the birdie putt coming up. Oh, he's left that foot short in the left hand side. That's going to be a gimme, but we'll put it in. Well, what can I say? It's more and more, it's more and more. Your golf course is terrified, Smith, he's on fire. Your golf course is terrified, Smith, he's on fire. Right, that's enough. Well, after that wee Bob McIntyre-esque celebration, 
we're on to 17th, 323 yards, and you've got to play right over the 16th green. So I was having to wait till the other players teed off in 17 before I could do those two celebration putts. That's the view into 17th, par 4. Well, again, tee box, the next tee box is quite close to the green. Got quite a few of them, so I'm having to wait on the players in front of teeing off before I wait on the approach shot into the green. 18th, uh, final hole here at Minehead in West Somerset, 196 yards, par 3. Head down towards the clubhouse. Big tents in the left, but on his mind head. Now what's the score, Smithy, against the golf course? Well, I'm on fire, four pars in a row. I'm only three over par for the back nine, playing off 18. Oh, so six shots ahead. Six shots under my handicap at the moment, so I've won this one. Go me. I'll just come down to the green at 18. And the Smithy ball's on the green again. Oh, huge big long birdie putt though. That'll be a nice way to finish off with that. I'm about a 40 footer. Well, that's me finished on the 18 at Minehead in West Somerset. Smithy against the golf course. Well, I've had the last five holes now. So it was me 11 over par for the round, 3 over par for the back nine, playing off 18. Can't argue with that. Better course. It's a kind of traditional, old fashioned flat links course. And the course is in magnificent condition. I'm going to say a huge big hats off to the greenkeeper or the greenkeepers. The greens are fantastic, the tee boxes are in mint condition, it's just, and the fairways, superb condition. The uh, course is a bit easier today, whereas there's no wind in a Lynx course. That is a combination of uh, me playing well, though. So it's like 9 out, or maybe 10 out, and uh, 8 back. Uh, back half, you come along, you get some nice views of Bristol Channel. I wouldn't say there's any wow holes, they're just all good, they're really good. I'm only, uh, it's not criticism really, the only thing is uh, when I had a three ball playing in front of me, because the holes are fairly close, I have to wait a wee bit till they teed off before I could do my approaches in quite a number of holes in the back nine. Uh, yeah, you just got to be careful if the course is busy, you just have to be patient, wait your turn. Well, that's all from uh, this morning. Uh, very friendly in the pro shop and a really nice club to come and play at so that's the, the end of the first part today don't know where i'm going hopefully get another game in but i'm getting in for a wee bite of lunch before i leave catch you later oh and there was me leaving without giving it a mark well, i would give it an 8.75 from me